So it's an unwritten YouTube hobby law that if you make a hobby video, you have to show the final product at the beginning to entice people to watch the full thing. So I'm going to do that right now. Are you ready? Hope you're enticed. So way back in October of 2019, I backed a Kickstarter put on by Reaper Miniatures called Bones 5. I made a whole video about it, perhaps you've seen it. I'm gonna be getting like 350 minis in the mail and a pirate ship. Well fellas, the day is finally here. The packages have just arrived on my doorstep and look at this, the pirate ship. Holy. Look at this. Holy smokes, there's two decks, which is incredible. So here we have it. This is the the base of the ship. Look how big it is. It's so this is massive. Now, the thing that we have to decide is these pieces. See, it's three pieces. This piece, this piece, and then this piece. Do we glue them down or not? If we glue them down, we can't access the under bit. If that's something that we want to get to at some point. But on the flip side, they don't sit together perfectly. So unless there's a way for me to figure out how to get them to sit right, then we have to glue them because it, it looks stupid if they're not. It's a big decision. There would be plenty of time for pondering later, but for now, I had to get to opening and cutting the bits. Fortunately, I have the perfect tool for the job, these little snippers. One of the sort of annoying things that happens with plastic miniatures is that they get bent, and so to unbend them, you put them in boiling water. Um, the wrong part of the stove just caught on fire. Did you see that? Like the burners didn't burn, the shit around. I'm afraid to turn it on again. Uh, it smells like gas in here now. Maybe I just wait. But as my old friend Cage the Elephant said, there's no rest for the wicked. We gotta get back to work. I use my electric kettle here to heat up the water and then I put it into this pan. Unfortunately, uh, the ship part didn't fit in very well. So I had to just pour the boiling water onto the ship to try to bend it back. Um, this doesn't work at all, which is going to be a running theme for this video. The next step was to use hot soapy water to wipe off all the oils that get on the plastic from the printing process. And with everything clean, it was time to start assembling using this Loctite super glue, which ends up being the best. I didn't know how good I had it until it was gone. I used a different super glue later and it's just the worst. So the moral of the story is to send people flowers while they can still smell them. <sighs> so I was gonna go to Blick to buy some paints and brushes and stuff. But they close at 7, and it is 6.48, which means I have to go tomorrow, but the boat is assembled. I've glued the stuff that's supposed to be glued, most of it. Some of the things I left off because they'll be easier to paint, and I'll attach, and then I'll attach them. Once they're painted, um... Learning from past mistakes, I put some newspapers down on the white table to keep it pristine for my crafting. Locked it, loaded. Uh, the biggest mistake of this whole project was using this Blick black paint as the primer. Uh, Dick Blick, if you're watching this, fuck. Ugh. Got it on me already. When you curse out Blick, you get the curse of Dick. What can I say? Now, the point of this black primer is to help the paint stick to the plastic, but also to hide all of our mistakes. And this process can be sort of therapeutic and peaceful. And I really appreciate that sort of zen-like quality. Now we want to be really meticulous with this black primer because then we can be lazy with the brown and our mistakes won't shine through quite like they would on the light gray plastic. And, and I know what you're probably thinking. Zach, this seems exhausting and boring. Twitch, I have to reply, yeah, it is exhausting and boring. It's no fun at all. But, you know, it keeps my mind off of the fact that I've been a Phoebe Bridgers fan for eight years and could get tickets to see her at the Greek twice, so... It's not all bad. All right, I got to focus. Oh, oh. I gotta say, it's a good thing I put all that newspaper down because it really kept all of my furniture from getting black paint all over it. You know, it would be a shame to ruin the furniture with black paint. Hello, it's me in a hat. Uh, so I wanted to show you where we're at right now. Uh, the body is primed and it took way longer than I thought it would to do that part. So it's gonna take forever to paint this. 
So now I'm going to start painting, painting, priming. Priming is going to take 100 years. Uh, priming all of these little bits. If you're going to be annoying, I should get something metal. All right, now we are cooking with gas, baby. And with that, I finished priming all the plastic bits and started mixing up a brown that would serve as the base coat for the pirate ship. So there's a real good chance that this brown is not going to look good, but we're gonna give it a shot. I ended up being really pleased with the way this color turned out. I think it's a perfect ship color. And it's no thanks to Dick Blick. Painting these little seahorses turned out to be a tedious nightmare, which is going to be the alternative title to this video. But thankfully, painting the flat parts was a lot of fun. So the base coat has been pretty much done, this brown. Uh, it's a little monochrome for me, so I think I'm going to go through and do these little railing bits in a little bit of a darker brown. I'm going to do all of the porthole covers in the same dark brown. And then the masts will also probably be that dark brown, just so there's like a little bit of color variation, even though it's all brown. One thing that is sort of annoying to me right now is that it's not fitting together right. I mean, uh, it wasn't fitting together right before. Um, this is not a new thing, but now that it is painted brown, you can really see all of the places where it doesn't fit together. Another thing, the acrylic I bought is like not the best, and it's like sort of sticky, and it peels off. It, like it didn't adhere to the plastic. Like the whole point of the base coat was to keep it from peeling. As soon as I can, I'm going to have to do a clear coat over it so that it doesn't keep peeling up. Like even this, like when I take this apart, it'll probably peel. So now it was detail time, going over all the little details with a dark brown to make them pop. So something that I really don't want to do, but I know will make this ship look better, is to paint this annoying stuff right here, like the darker brown, the trim brown. I know it'll make it look better, I know it'll make this little bit pop, and that'll be great, but it's just gonna suck to paint. And yeah, it wasn't that fun, but I'm trying to keep a positive attitude, you know? I don't want to be too negative. It was a fine thing. Um, but going over the seahorses again, now that sucked. And once the seahorses were painted, it was time to start doing the other doodads. I did like a dry brush, wet brush combo on these grates, and then I went into the ropes uh, using my rope painting power stance, trademark. And then I dipped outside to give it that clear coat action, keep the paint stuck. And on this ship, there are 20 portholes, so I had to paint 20 porthole covers, which, you know, was no easy task. Spent a little extra money to get this reaper figurehead for the front of the ship. I painted it this stone color. Then I went in on the anchor, did it some dirty, dirty, dirt. <laughs> what am I saying? All right, I'm in the home stretch now. I just have to do some final detail work, the clear coat, and then give it a big old wash, and then we should be done. I'm hoping to finish today so that I can be done with it. <laughs> with miniatures, the more detailed you are with your paint job, the better the miniature ends up looking as a whole. And so I had to go through and paint all of these little ropes. I had to paint the sails. I had to paint the metals. Uh, if you were paying attention earlier, you might have seen that this pirate ship came with 20 cannons and also have seen that I am not painting them. And my reason for not painting them is a philosophical one. I don't think a world where people can learn to shoot fire from their hands would ever invent gunpowder. But I don't know, that's a point of contention for a lot of people. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree. So the only thing that's left to do is the wash. And I have this fitting Reaper mini cup that I got from ReaperCon and I'm gonna use it to make a wash. I'm gonna wash the whole thing, maybe do a little bit of dry brushing, and then we'll be done. I'm never sure how light or dark to make a wash, so I use this piece of cardboard to test. Okay, so this is the first time that I've actually taken the pieces apart since I gave it a clear coat, and we're gonna really test to see if the clear coat worked the way that it was supposed to. All right, it stuck a little bit. So it didn't work at all on the bottom one. I'm over it. Okay. For some reason, probably because of the clear coat, it sort of beaded up a little bit on the ship. 
but I just used the paper towel to wipe it down. We're just going for a grimy look here. We want it to look like it's a ship that's been on the ocean for a long time, and that's what we accomplish with this wash. I think it ends up looking very good, very grimy, very dirty. You know, all of the things that you really want when you do a uh, wash. These things were impossible. They were so hard to get on, and the only way you could get them on was by squeezing and squishing the plastic and so I wonder if these were, like, is it the paint that screwed this up? I don't know. I don't know how it could have ever gone on properly. This super glue was the super glue I was talking about earlier. It does not dry clear. And I did not know that when I put it on. And so now I've got all this white super glue gunk. But fortunately, all of the doodads, all of the accoutrement is attached. And it's time for me to show you the final product. Ba -ba 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 So that's it, that's the pirate ship. It took me six weeks to paint uh, because it wasn't any fun. And uh, I'm pleased with the way it turned out. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. There's one place I could put it. 